Well, there you, you have it, friend. Um, Lake Bellagio, uh, that is a, a, a great water show that we just seen. Um, you know, friend, I'm out here today, um, not for the Bellagio, um, but I'm sharing the good news, the gospel message about Jesus Christ. I, I, I'm sharing how Jesus Christ is the way to God, how Jesus Christ died on a cross for our sins and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day he rose from the dead so that all who believe in him will receive eternal life i'm just sharing that good news today friend that god loves his creation that god became a man jesus christ the son of god that he died on the cross for our sins and rose from the dead and the bible says believe on the lord jesus christ and you will be saved. I'm just sharing that, that good news today, friend. The Bible says, For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God. Who can bring you to God? Jesus Christ, friend, can bring you to God. He died on a cross for all your sins. He died for all my sins. He rose from the dead. He did this for our salvation so that we could be saved so that we could go to heaven, so that we could receive eternal life from God. Jesus Christ died for us. He rose from the dead. And the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. So I'm just sharing that good news today, friend, for Christ also hath once suffered for sins. Well, where did he once suffer for sins? There on the cross. He died on the cross for our sins. Christ hath once suffered for sins, the just, for the unjust. Friend, we're the unjust. The Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We've all sinned against God. So Jesus Christ died up on the cross for all our, our sins. The just for the unjust. That he might bring us to God. Being put to death in the flesh, the Bible says. Where was he put to death in the flesh? On the cross. When he died for our sins. Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. That's what Jesus said. Jesus told us why he came, friend. The Bible says he came to give his life as a ransom for many, to die up on the cross for our sins. So the Bible says, being put to death in the flesh, there up on the cross, Jesus died for our sins. But then the scripture says he was quickened by the spirit. The Bible says God is spirit. And he was quickened by the Spirit. What does it mean? It means that God raised him from the dead, friend. God raised his son, Jesus Christ, from the dead. And Jesus Christ rose from the dead. He conquered death. That's what the scripture says. He's the firstborn from the dead, never to die again. God raised him from the dead. And the Bible says that God would not allow his Holy One to see decay, friend. So Jesus Christ saw no, decay, no decay, friend. God became a man, the Son of God, Jesus Christ. He died for all of our sins. He rose from the dead. He did this for our salvation, so that all who would believe in Him will receive eternal life. How do you receive eternal life? The Bible says, he who believes on the Son has life. Eternal life in heaven with God. You just believe in God's Son. You just believe that he, he died for you on, on a cross and, and rose from the dead. And if you believe, the Bible says God will save you. He'll, he'll justify you. He'll give you eternal life at the moment you believe. And when you die, you have God's promise to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Thank you, bro. You have a great trip. So that's the good news, friend. That, that, that we can receive eternal life through Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ died on a cross for our sins. He rose from the dead. He defeated death. And all you have to do to be saved is just believe it. God made it real simple. I'm just sharing the, the word of truth. The gospel of our salvation. How that Jesus Christ died for our sins. How he rose from the dead. He defeated death. You believe, then God's going to save you. If you believe the good news. If you believe that he died on a cross for you and rose from the dead, if you trust in him alone for your salvation, you will be saved. 
That's what God's word says, friend. Just sharing that good news today. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. It's a gift. He gave his only begotten son that whosoever, it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter what you've done, doesn't matter what you're doing right now, the Bible says whosoever believeth in him should not perish. God bless you. Thank you. The Bible says should not perish, but have everlasting life. Everlasting life in heaven with God. Just by trusting God's Son, friend. That's, that's what God's Word says. The Bible says, Jesus said that God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world. That wasn't Jesus' mission. That's not why Jesus came, friend. He didn't come to condemn us. He didn't come to destroy men's lives. He came to save us. And the Bible says that He accomplished His mission, friend. He died up on the cross for all of our sins. He rose from the dead. He defeated death. That's what the Bible says, friend. He tasted death for every man by the grace of God, Jesus Christ. He tasted death for you and for me. He tasted death for all men. Jesus Christ is the Savior of all men. That's what the Scripture says. Especially those that believe, friend. And what must you do to be saved? The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. 